503, and we are tracking developing news now on the volatility in the markets across the globe. New overnight, we've learned stocks in China took another nosedive, which could set up another rough ride today on Wall Street. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yakota was live with more details on the overnight trading and what financial analysts are saying about the U.S. markets. Yeah, good morning. It certainly was a white knuckle day of trading on Wall Street Monday. While you were sleeping, we've been watching what's been unfolding in the Asian markets that could set up now another day of stress. If the market's down again in China, we could have another ugly day. Now, that was the word from CBS business analyst and Brown University grad Jill Schlesinger late yesterday. And this morning, we've learned stocks in China did, in fact, tumble again. Here's the good news, though. Most other Asian markets rebounded after a day of heavy losses. The Shanghai Composite Index dropping 7.6% at the close. Now, according to B Bloomberg Business News, that's the first time in eight months the index dropped below 3,000. Experts have a message, though, for long-term investors. If you've got 10, 20, 30 years before you need your money, you don't need to act rashly. You need to stick to your game plan. Another reminder from analysts right now not to let your emotions run your investment strategy. They say stick to a diverse portfolio. Coming up at 530 this morning, we're taking a deeper look at the impact from what's happening in the markets. We'll be talking with the managing director of a local financial group. I'm Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.